this lesson, we're going to talk about how to model database tables in your application by defining entity objects and how to read and write data using a repository component. Let's start by looking at the class that defines a vehicle entity object. It's a basic Java bean that models a table schema in the database. The at table annotation lets you specify what table the entity corresponds to. Here we see that the vehicle class is associated with the vehicles table. The properties of the entity class correspond to the columns of the associated table. Each entity instance corresponds to a single row of data. So that's what an entity object is, but where does it come from? What does it do? The repository can create or update entities during database read operations or use them to perform writes, while the service might request them from the repository or create them itself to hand to the repository to insert or update. Let's take a closer look at repositories. A repository component defines the basic operations that read and write data into a database. It's what bridges the gap between the object-oriented universe in your application and the relational universe in your CockroachDB cluster. The vehicle repository is a good example, so let's take a look at the Java code. And this is it. You're probably thinking, wait, what? Why is there no code here? That's the magic provided by a Spring Data JPA repository. It lets you define a repository with minimal effort. All you need to do is extend JPA repository and specify the entity type the repository works with, in this case, the vehicle type we were just looking at, and the type of the primary key. Your repository automatically inherits a whole set of methods for performing CRUD functions. And here's the most important point. All the provided functions work with entity objects. For example, take the vehicle repository find by ID method. It takes a vehicle ID, queries the database for the correct row, and returns the result as a vehicle object. Find all returns a list of vehicle objects. Going the other direction, the save method takes a vehicle object and inserts it or updates the relevant row as appropriate. You can also add custom operations to a repository definition, but we're not going to get into that right now. So that's how a repository component allows you to easily transfer data between your object-oriented application and a relational database. Let's review. An entity object is a Java bean that corresponds to a row in a database table. A repository component works with those entity objects to read and write to the database. By simply extending the JPA repository interface, you get definitions for several common CRUD operations for free. So this should give you a good idea of how Mover reads and writes data to your cockroach cluster.